yourself free Tear away the weakness that holds you back And release the power you never lacked The love that's within you will shatter this bear apart Believe in your heart Good evening, folks. Uh, no, good afternoon, rather. <laughs> How are we all doing? Uh, let's see. Let's get the Digimon World. Um, uh, what's it called? The ah, the, <laughs> the lo-fi Digimon World music on, shall we? So, hey, how's it going, folks? How are we doing this uh, this Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, Saturday evening, wherever it happens to be, at where you are right now? <laughs> Thank you, Koro. <laughs> God, I'm so, so out of practice with this, like, bleh. Yeah, surprisingly, we haven't had a lot of Digimon sets in a while. I think the last one I unboxed was three months ago. Kind of glad that we had a bit of a break from them because um, it was starting to get to a point where I was worrying if I would even be able to afford any more. But yeah, here we are with uh, Resurgent, Resurgence Booster. I got these yesterday. I got them pre-ordered at um, Chaos Cards. You can see down here. Um, again, not sponsored, but, you know, I like to shout them out because they're a great service. <laughs> As always. Uh, let's see. I need to... Perhaps if I move some bits over here. Set one box aside. We'll look at that later. So this is an interesting one. There, um, there are like a few exclusive cards in here, but most of them are reprints of stuff that's been in earlier sets. So, um, you know, if you missed a chance to get some staple cards for your deck or collection beforehand, this is probably the best way to, uh, to go about adding some some of the harder to get cards, or even just to um, if you're if you're um, you know playing the game and you're running a deck of some sort and it happens to have some of the cards that are in here. By the way, the, all the cards in here are foils, so don't worry. I'm not, I'm not going to be sleeving all of them, just the ones I don't have. I'm not going to worry too much about, like, you know, having foil versions of everything. Any, any like, reprints I get will just be deck fodder. You know, any any reprints I don't already own. So, as always, you get a box supper with these boxes. Um, one thing I do need to point out that I've seen some people do um, with these packets. You know, you see this tab here. I have seen people actually pull straight down, and uh, ugh, the amount of times I've seen them open up packs and come out with cards that have a nick in the or a dent in the top right corner, <sighs> triggering. I tell you. So what I normally do is I nip it slightly, so there's a bit of a tear on the tab, and then pull outwards. That way, you're not damaging the card too much. Oh, oh god. This is a tough one to open, saying that. Oh god. That's good. Good snap. So, we have, for our box topper rare, it is an Angoramon, and I believe these are these are alternate arts, even though I think this is the same artwork, but with a different backdrop. Again, not too keen on those box toppers, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go, there's Angoramon for our box topper rare card. Hopefully the camera will be alright today. Right. I'm actually going to be checking at full screen on the on my other screen. So I'm going to sleeve this up. This is probably going to go in the alt arts binder, even though, you know, again, hesitate to call it an alt art when it's just, uh, you know, same artwork, but with a different backdrop. But it is what it is. So, yeah, a lot of the cards in here are reprints. There is a, one secret rare that is exclusive to the set, and I really want to try and hit that one, if anything else. If I can get Proximamon, I would be so chuffed. Right, let's uh, let's move the box out of the way. I'm wondering how I should display everything. Like, 
I'm sure we've all all seen like the uh, like the Reaper and stuff already. Like, yeah. So I might just set those aside. So here we have Kaiser Wolf from ST2. We have Demi Meramon from BT3. Patamon from ST3. Palmon from BT1. Lobamon from BT4. Ultimate Flare from BT5, and then we go into the cards that are exclusive to this set. We have a Gammamon, number 5. In fact, I will start sleeving these ones since they are exclusive to the set, and I will be putting these ones into a binder. Oh god, oh, 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 that's not the secret I'm after, but, oh, that is so exciting to get for, for the first card. Let, let's just go through these first. <laughs> I can't believe I spoiled myself on that. Uh, it was one of those cards that I thought, like, you know, if I get this as a secret, I, I would not be fussed. I, I would absolutely be happy with that. Like, if nothing else. But, oh, God. Oh. Oh. Um, right, let, let's have a look at the Gammamon first. I'm getting ahead of myself. I got a bit too excited. Right, so let's see. This is Gammamon from, you know, Resurgence Booster 1, number 5. There probably won't be a Kenny Omega button on this. I, I I won't probably be checking the the numbers on the reprints, but yeah. On play, reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Gammon in its text and one Hiro Amano Amanokawa among them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Then the inherit is on your turn. While the Digimon has Gammon in its text, it gets plus two thousand DP. That's number five out of I believe thirty six of the actual RB set. And then we have here uh, Wesson Gammon, I believe. I don't know if it's pronounced any other way. Like Wesson. Isn't like, you know, how Germans would pronounce the W. More of a V. But I don't know. Wesson Gammon. Uh, Digivolve 2 from a Gammon. And has Blocker. So that's number 21. 21. Uh, again, no idea how I want to display these. <laughs> I still want to have them out, you know, like so I know what what I've gotten. Right, next up is uh, Simbare Angoromon. When digivolving, if you don't have Ruli Tsukiyono, you may play one Ru Ruli Tsukiyono in your deck without paying the cost. And you heard it is all turns while your opponent has no suspended Digimon, unsuspended Digimon rather, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. That's number 22, Simbare and Goromon. And I believe this is the Tamer for Gammon. Oh, we got... Oh, that that was a promo, okay. Yeah, we, we get promos in this as well. So here we have Hiro Amanokawa. And uh, th this is the rare, so yeah, you get you get three commons and uncommons of the RB set, and I believe six of the reprints reprints up here. Um, and then the rare is from either one of the two pools. So here we have Hiro Amanakawa from B RB one. Start your main phase by placing one Digimon card with Gammon and its name from your hand as one of your Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, gain one memory and draw one. On your turn, when one of your Digimon Digivolves into a Digimon with Gammon in its text, by suspending this tamer, that Digimon gets plus 2000 DP for the turn. Security player's card without paying the cost. So that's pretty much the standard for, like, tamer cards to play them from security. And here is the promo version of Hero. Oh, I'm so... So chuffed, I got this other one as well. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. Do not damage it. Okay, so this is the promo version of Hero Amanakawa. I don't know where this would have come from originally, but I'm pretty sure I don't have this one already. On your turn, when one of your Digimon with Gammon in its Digivolution cards attacks by suspending this tamer, that Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. Security plays card without paying the cost. I'm wondering where about to put promos. Oh. But they are oh, this. What a first card to pull. <laughs> this is the only version of Vidramon BT1 I think is in the set. And oh my god, I love it. I'm in fact I might just put this in one of the slabs that I've got. I might do that actually. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me a moment. This needs to be slabbed. Right, 
right, so let's uh, let's take this out of the sleeve real quick, very carefully, and pop this open. Don't know if it needs cleaning on the inside. I'll pop it in there for now. Let's see. This could probably sit quite nicely with the Metal Greymon. That that has a pretty similar design. I pulled from the uh, from the special boosters long, long ago. Ah, love it. If anything else, I am absolutely chuffed that I got this card. Hyper Heat Ray, V Nova Blast. I get was that on the actual like I know this is supposed to be based on the the Japanese version of the original Digimon card game. Did they have text like this here? Like flavor text? I don't know. When attacking once per turn, if you have a tamer, unsuspend this Digimon. In all turns, while you have a blue tamer, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. Yeah, this one, this slab might be a bit dirty. I might have to get a. I might have to order another one. But yeah, uh. Oh, that could sit quite nicely there, I think. Oh, so yeah, that's not that's not a bad first pack. <laughs> My god. Ooh. Was not expecting to pull a secret rare, let alone a Vidramon as my first one. Oh god. I just hope we still hit that Proximamon at some point. Oh. Alright, so here we go. We have I'm I'm just gonna skip through the the reprints because there's nothing really Oh, a Coromon, that could go in my uh that could go in my Greymon deck. Uh Demi Vima, I don't know if I'm using that one. Oh, here we go. So here's the new stuff now. So, hang on. Let's see if I can No, I I'm gonna sleeve these separately so we don't get uh you know an anticlimactic surprise like last time. So we got Espimon. That's new. Bosamon. Lamortmon. Is this entire line, is the, um, oh, what's it called, um, Angoramon line, are they all drawn by Koki? I think they are. Let's see, Angie Woman is a reprint. Oh god, oh god, well, I've spoiled myself again, unintentionally. Um, Diabitmon, that's a promo card I don't have yet, so, yep, gonna be holding on to that. And Shin Monzemon. That's a nice one as well. I believe this is the regular version of Shin Monzemon. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but all, I think all super rares and secrets have this, like, textured look to them. So, yeah. Um, that makes them look a bit nicer, to probably. I, I think you can get a super rare in each pack as well. Guaranteed super rare. That's cool. Alright, so let's have a look at these. Alright, Digivolve 4 from a level 5 of Monzimon or Numamon in its name. When Digivolving, place all level 3 Digimon face down on top of their owner security stacks in any order. Then all of your opponent's level 4 or higher Digimon get minus 3000 DP and gain security attack minus 1 until the end of their turn. When attacking by trashing one card with Numamon in its name in its Digimon's Digivolution cards, place one of your opponent's Digimon face down at the bottom of their security stack. My god. I believe Shin Monzimon was um, introduced in uh, like the coloured versions of the V-Pets that recently came out. Also again, sorry sorry about my voice, um, I think I'm starting to develop a cold. <laughs> oh, happy days, it's that time of year again. When it's not, if it's not hay fever, it's a cold. Hate it. Alright, so... I'm gonna find some way of displaying all these. Oh, I still have the sleeve here from the V-Drum on that I slabbed. Again, not expecting this to get much money, but, you know, I, I like the look of this, so I want to keep it. I want to keep it nice and safe. So, here's the uh, promo Diabamon. When Digivolving, suspend two of your opponent's Digimon all turns, once per turn, when one of your Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, if Angoramon is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, unsuspend one of your Digimon. There we go, it's the promo Diabitmon. Again, no for a fact I don't add that one yet, so that's going in the promo binder. Curious to know where these originally came from then. If they're supposed to be promo cards, they must have been in some other, like, thing. Uh, let's see. Lamortmon, when Digivolving, this Digimon gains piercing for the turn. Then if a Digimon card with Angoramon in its name is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. 
inherited is on your turn once per turn. When this Digimon deletes the, an opponent's Digimon in battle, trash the top card of the, your opponent's security stack. My god. Damn, Lamormon. Calm down. So that's number 24. So that goes there. Oh, we've got a Digitama. I think there are only three in this set. Like the one for Gammon, one for Angoramon, and the other one for Jellymon, I believe. Let's see. So this one's number three. Yeah, that that seems about right then. So Bosamon, your turn. While your opponent has no unsuspended Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. So you will go before Gammon here. And then we have Espimon. God. Here we are, Espimon. Opponent's turn. While there's a Tamer, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP. Uh, 26. So that goes about there. Not quite sure how this display is going to go. Pop promos over there. Tuck them in that corner, I guess. Reprints. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've put the reprint somewhere else. Uh, in fact, that's kind of a promo, so maybe... There, there we go. That'll do. And then you know, I could put the reprints in that pile. <laughs> God. The woes of having such a minimalist uh, kind of, like, desk area. Okay. Let's get going. Let's carry on. Oh. Again, want to be super careful opening these. Don't want to damage these cards too much. Alright, so let's see. We have Upamon. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip through these like I say. Yakamon. Okay, so here we are. On to the RBs, and we have Kaos Gabamon. I'm gonna look at their effects afterwards. Numemon. Kanovicemon. Upamon. Which is uh, which is a reprint? Where Um This is a promo card, but I think I've already got one of these, so this will probably just go. Th this will probably just be deck fodder. And a Shine Greymon. Ooh, it's a reprinted super rare, but again, because the the original didn't have this kind of texturing, that's actually really nice. I like that. Like a, a sun ray behind them. That's really cool. Yeah, um, the earlier rares definitely needed a reprint. Um, I actually have an example here of um, one of the originals. This is an Ogimon from BT Set One. Um, rares used to have this, this like gold stamped effect around the border and stuff. Um, it was a, it's a nice effect, but um, the downside to that is um, I don't know if you can see if I shine on the back here. You can kind of see the creasing on the back where the uh, where the stamp is. So while it's a nice effect, it does kind of uh, <laughs> does kind of ruin the cards a bit. And uh, yeah, definitely if you were playing cards like this in tournaments, you would need to have your deck sleeved with an opaque back. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a regulation thing anyway. Like all sanctioned tournaments, you need to have your card sleeved. But yeah. This a bit. <laughs> it's really unfortunate that that happened. But it was definitely good they changed to uh, like a reverse foil effect for rares going forward. As nice as the gold stamping frame was, it just doesn't. It's just not that great for. Yeah. All right, so there we go. There's the shine gray on. Let's say it's a that's a reprint. So uh, yeah, probably just gonna go. This is probably just going to end up being deck fodder, perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, uh, Kano Weissmon, let's have a look at you. Digivolve free from a level 4 with Gammon in its name. One of your Gammon that has a Digivolution card with Gammon in its name may Digivolve into this card in your hand for a Digivolution cost of 3, ignoring Digivolution requirements. All turns, this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gammon in their names in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Oh my god, so... All the main effects? Damn. 
All turns, this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gamamon in their names in this Digimon's evolution card. So, so, it, so it retains this when you evolve into something else. That, that is crazy. Crazy? No. No, not starting that. <laughs> right. I'll pop that there for now and then rearrange everything once I've, uh, once I've sorted the rest out. Okay, Numemon next. A yellow and black. Interesting. So on deletion, reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Monzemon in its name and one card with Numemon in its name among to the hand. Place the rest at the bottom of the deck in any order. Okay, so I see why this is part black now, because this this very much reads like a you know, like a black card effect. It's all about searching the deck for things and uh, trashing stuff. Uh, while this Digimon has Monzimon or Numemon in its name, it gains Blocker. Oh, yeah, that's a... yeah. That's a very black effect there as well. That's Numemon number 17. I believe that goes before Shin Monze. And then we have Kalsgamamon. So what does Kalsgamamon do? Digivolves 2 from a Gamamon. Evade... When this Digimon would be deleted, you may suspend it to prevent that. Oh, wow, okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's Kel's Gamamon number 12. Let's see if I can move these along slightly. Yeah, there we go. That should have a bit more space. Just spread out these cards now. Alright. Not bad so far. Again, really, really hoping we can hit that Proximamon. Ooh, a Toy Ogamon. Nice, 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 nice. I do love me some Toy Ogamon. And uh, I actually use this in my Machine Drummon deck, so I'll definitely re be replacing some of those with uh, with any of these that I get. Uh, yeah, it's really cool to get some of these as um, foil reprints. Okay, so we got Gulus. Gulus Gamamon, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Simbari Angoramon, I believe that's a that's a double now, so I'll put that over there. Uh, Thetismon, I don't think we've gotten yet. Uh, Kyoshiru Higashima. Oh my god, what is that surname? Uh, Kyoshiru, no Kyoshiru Higashimitari Tarai. Let me try that again. In fact, I'll look. I'll look at my camera full screen on the other on the other screen for this. Higashimi Tarai. Higashimi Tarai. Higashimi Tarai. The more I say it, the more <laughs> the more fluent I'm gonna get in pronouncing the name. Okay, so there we go. There's um there's Kyoshiro, Gururumon, which I believe I already have, and a serious mon. Okay. Nice. I think, yeah, this is the regular one, so uh, I believe Proximamon is still hiding in there somewhere. <laughs> Wishful thinking, but, you know. Again, if I, if I can avoid having to look for that one on eBay, that would be great, especially with the whole scalping situation right now. Ugh. Did you hear about the whole thing with the uh, the Pokemon Van Gogh, um, Van Gogh rather, um, collaboration? Absolute fucking ridiculous. What is wrong with people, honestly? Okay. So here we have Siriusmon, Digivolve 3 from a level 5 with Gammon in its text. When Digivolving, by placing one Digimon card with Gammon in its text from your hand as this Digimon's Digivolution card, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP. Your turn once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, you may unsuspend this Digimon. Okay, um... Ooh. Something up with my mic. No? No? Um, hmm. Do let me know if, um, if everything's okay audio-wise. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, there we go. That's Siriusmon. Interesting that it lists Gammon in text. So, I'm guessing, like, any any effects that include Gammon by name, this would Digivolve into. That's cool. Uh, so that's number 10. Again, I'll, uh, I'll sort out the order of things when I... I'm gonna sleeve up the rest. Here we go. Yoshiro Higashimitari. 
at all turns when one of your Digimon or Jellymon in its text or an opponent's level 5 or higher Digimon attacks if you have a, if you have 7 or fewer cards in your hand by suspending a Stamer draw 1 your opponent your turn when the Stamer becomes unsuspended god Chester please help me where's where's my sound like button there we go Okay, let me try reading the effect again. All turns when one of your Digimon with Jellymon in its text or an opponent's level 5 or higher Digimon attacks, if you have 7 or fewer cards in your hand, by suspending this tamer, draw 1. Your turn, when this tamer becomes unsuspended, gain 1 memory. Security, play this card without paying the cost. Cool. Alright. So you'll go down there somewhere. Next up is Thetasmon. When digivolving, you may trash up to two blue cards in your hand. For each one, you may trash any one card under your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Then, until the end of your opponent's turn, one of their Digimon or Tamers without cards under it can't can't suspend. Okay. Uh, end of turn, once per turn, by returning three cards with Jellymon in their text from your trash to the bottom of your deck in any order, unsuspend this Digimon. There we go, that's Thetasmon number 14. So you'll go there. And Gulus Gammon. So, Digivolve 2 from Gammon. End of the attack by deleting this Digimon, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP or less than or equal to the deleted Digimon's DP. On deletion, play one Gammon from your trash. Suspended without paying the cost. There we go, that's Gulus Gammon. Number 29, so that will go after Espimon here, and then Siriusmon goes there, right. So how many cards are in this actual set? Isn't it, isn't it 36? Ugh, Weedmon. Worst customer at the monochrome shop. If you know, you know. Uh, okay, the camera was a bit out of focus there, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, so we got Bosamon, we've already got that, Chaos Gammon, Betel Gammon, we don't have you yet, so there you go. Sora and Joe, we already have both of them, so yeah. Siriusmon promo card, nice. Don't have this one yet. And an Old Force Vidramon. Again, a reprint. But because it's in this set, it gets a nice textured effect boiling. Let's leave that up. Put it over there with the deck fodder cards. And let's sleeve these two up as well. I'll pop this one over with the promos. Alright, so, Series Mon? Oh, wait, hang on. No, that, that wasn't a promo. Um, did I get. Oh, yeah, I got a Garuda Mon promo last time, but. Again, I already had that one. When digivolving, by placing one card with Gammon in its name from your hand as this, as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. When attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. If this Digimon has 12,000 DP or more, delete two such Digimon instead. Ooh. Ooh, so you could, you could evolve... You could evolve this, play a Gammon underneath it, give it the power boost it needs to uh, pop this effect. That's pretty cool. There we go, that's a promo series mon. And next we have Betel Gammon. So Digivolve 2 from Gammon. Gets the raid effect. Let me switch the target of attack to one of your opponents. Unsuspended Digimon with the highest DP. When digivolving, if you don't have Hero or Monokawa, you may play one Hero or Monokawa from your hand without paying the cost. That is Betel Gamimon, number 8. Still trying to do the bingo thing, even though there's not really much of a bingo to do here. Oh god. Uh, careful. So, that's number 9, that's number 8. Cool. Alright, next pack. We'll speed up as things go along. I hope. Oh. Alright. Here we 
go. So Ungoramon, I don't believe we have this one yet. So that's new. Ungoramon. The Mortmon we have already. Jellymon is new. In fact, we're just going to pop those ones over there for now. Vmon, that would have been another good example of a card that um, needed a reprint because I had the same problem. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Vitramon Zero. Okay, cool. So we got these promos as well. And Magna Angemon as the super rare. Nice. I'm not quite sure where this one goes. Is, is this Magna Angemon used on, in many decks? Let's see, on play, recovery plus one. I, I guess it could be good? I don't know, I, I've never used it. I don't play yellow, so I have no clue. There we are, that's uh, Magna Angemon from BT1. Let's pop the rest over here. Yeah, it's definitely nice to get the uh, to get the zero cards and the V Tamer stuff. All right, so here's Jellymon on play. Reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Jellymon in its text and one Kyoshiru Hagashimitari along among them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Then on your turn, once per turn, when one of your effects trashed a card in your hand, gain one memory. That's Jellymon number eleven. Uh, pop you there. Also, we got Angoramon and Jellymon in that same pack. Nice. I believe there are some other reprints in here that are actually listed as being RB, but it has like the effect of they're also treated as whatever their promo number was, which is a bit odd. I don't know why they've done that. Hopefully, we'll see that when, uh, when we get into the uh, later packs. So, on play, reveal top three cards of your deck, add one card with Angoramon and its text, and one Ruli Tsukiyono among them to your hand. Place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. All turns, while this while your opponent has no unsuspended Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. That's Angoramon, number 20. I'm really trying to like, sort out these cards here. Uh, 20, 21. Okay, cool, cool. Want to know how I got these scars? I don't even know if you can see them, but yeah. Um, Want to know how I got those scars? I um, I wound up a dog when I was really little. <laughs> uh, I had no idea what I was doing, but you know, I was being an idiot child. Pissed off the family's dog, and it attacked me. I ended up getting put down for it. I'm sorry, Duke. So sorry. Ugh. All right. Anyways. Ooh, hidden potential uncovered. That or discovered rather. That's a good one. Uh, Gammon, I believe we have this one already. Uh, Espimon, Western Gammon. Sorry. Focus. There we go. Regulusmon. Ooh. Okay, so that's the rare. Sorry. Still trying to sort this out. Oh god. Ooh. Hi. Well, there. There's on. Second altar slash secret <laughs> Shin Monzemon. Wow. Oh, and it's Koki as well. Really nice. Right, let's get that sleeved up real quick, and then we'll look at the uh, and we'll look at the other two. So that's going in the altar binder. Really cool stuff. Again, really hoping the Proximamon is either the last one in this box or it's in the other one. Really would love to get a hold of that before I end up having to resort to eBay. <laughs> Digivolve free from a level 4 of Gammon in its name. When Digivolving, when attacking once per turn, by trashing one card with Gammon in its text from your hand, add... No, one of your... Bleh. Chester, please. Speaks. That sound low also gives me a good, like, pause, so I can gather my thoughts, take a drink, and whatever. Right, so Digivolve 3 from a level 4 with Gammon on its name. When Digivolving, when attacking once per turn by trashing one card with Gammon in its text in your hand, 
One of your Digimon gains on deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level until the end of your opponent's turn. All turns, this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gummon in their names in this Digimon's Digiv Digivolution cards. All turns, this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gamamon in their names in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Okay, cool. So that's uh, Regulusmon number 30. That goes after Gulus Gamamon. And then we have a promo Kyoshiro. And what does this one do? I wonder. Your turn when one of your Digimon with Jellymon and its Digivolution cards attacks by suspending this tamer, that Digimon gains jamming for the turn. Ooh, okay. Play this card without paying the cost. Sweet. That's Kyoshiro Agashimitari. Promo 64. I again don't believe I got that one. I had a quick look through uh, my promo binder before and I did not see most of what was um, listed in this set. Oh, so starting this one off with the Jaumon. Coromon, nice. Alright, so Tesla Jellymon now. Tesla. Boo! <laughs> Pioyamon. Goodymon, we don't have that one yet. Mimi Tachikawa. Oh, Old Force Vidramon Zero. I mean, I already have this, I um, already have the promo, but this would be nice to have for decks. And Craniumon. Nice. Again, this is a reprint card, but I do like the texturing on this one. Let's get you sleeved up. <laughs> Alright, you go over there, you go over there. We finally have all the digita the, the Digitamas. So, Gurimon. Your turn once per turn, when one of your effects places a Digivolution card under this Digimon, draw one. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, it really shouldn't be a surprise that this synergizes with the rest of the Gammon line. <laughs> I mean, doi. Alright. Puyoyomon. So you want attacking once per turn by trashing one blue card in your hand. Trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. That's number two. We've got number one and number two. He was number one! <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's try to separate these a bit. So, Digitama's there. Red's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what I'm doing. Uh. Okay, so there's Tesla Jellymon there. Number 12, I think that says. Alright. So, when digivolving, if you don't have Kyoshiro Hagashimitari, you may play one Kyoshiro Hagashimitari from your hand without paying the cost. Tesla Jellymon number 13, actually. Okay. So, 12, 13, 14. Cool. <sighs> We're getting there. We are getting there. Slowly but surely. Oh, another Toy Ogamon. Numemon. Kind of Vicemon. Tesla Jellymon. Rise Greymon. Caramon. I don't think I have this Caramon promo yet. I'll have to see. And Lilithmon. Okay. Very nice. Again, the textured foiling here. Like I say, the original didn't have that. That might be something else that <laughs> collectors of the set might want to be... Might be interested in buying these for. So yeah. Fairly certain I don't have this Caramon promo yet, so I'm going to sleeve that up. And then, let's see, inherited opponent's turn, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. That's number 13. And have to double check the, uh, the promo's binder afterwards. Don't think I saw that in there. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi Ronan, how's it going? <laughs> Alright. So again, 
reprints, and then let's see Thetasmon, already got you, Kalsagamamon, Poyoyomon. Oh, okay, here we go. There's the there's the Gavamon that was originally a promo. Not bad. Getting ready for a fight flight tomorrow. Oh, okay, <laughs> getting ready for a flight tomorrow morning. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, so this is one of those interesting cases where this is part of the set, but it's also treated as a promo. Got some new, new nephews recently, my brother is getting married. And they, they are unfamiliar with Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Yes, it is the good boy. Look at the colours behind them. There's such a colourful card. Who Who's the artist behind this? Let's see. Can I, can I see this? It is uh, Porose. Oh, they have a very nice art style, I must say. Let's see, your turn. While you have a red tamer, this Digimon may also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. Yeah, interesting case about this one. It was originally a promo, but I think because it's alternate artwork, they decided to uh, to add it into this set. Hey ho. Ooh. Do I have any other Demon Lords? Um. Demon Lords, Demon Lords. Um, I. I mean, there's a there's a Lilithmon. I don't know if that's a Demon Lord. Let's see. Yeah, Demon Lord. I think this is the only Demon Lord that's been reprinted in this set. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that's Gammon number six. I I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with these. Uh, <laughs> these piles anymore it's getting a bit out of hand <laughs> but I'll, I'll try and sort them out afterwards so let's see the promo is Diaboramon and the super rare is Rise Greymon again not sure I have this one already this one looks good yeah yeah <laughs> that does look a, a very nice card <laughs> yeah uh, Diaboramon Promo number 16 on your turn. For each Diaboramon you have, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. I don't believe I have this one yet. I keep thinking that I might have it somewhere in my like my deck boxes, but I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to double check that. And then Rise Greymon from What is it? BT4. Again, this is a reprint. The originals didn't have the nice textured foiling, but this one does. Which had a similar simulator. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that Digimon really needs a simulator. I'm one of them. <laughs> like, I love collecting the physical cards and all, but um, please, it makes things so much easier to play the game with people. Alright, so let's skip through the reprints. Uh, let's see, Simbora, Angoramon, Angoramon, Lamo what? wow, we got three cards of the uh, of the Angoramon line in one pack. I want to play with people. Apparently Disney has a card game now too that's actually taken off. Yeah, it's pretty much sold out everywhere I've looked though. I mean, I'm not looking to play the game myself. I'm... I'm trying to limit myself on like physical card games these days, which is why I only really cover Digimon. <laughs> but um, look, kind of does look interesting. Let's see, Nokia Shiramine. So that's the rare of this pack. Demi Devimon. I don't think I have this one yet. And the super rare is Nidhogmon. Got the eyes on this thing. Cool. All right. Just realised I don't think I properly read the other cards I got. Mind you, I think yeah, no, th this is a reprint as well, so no point in reading that since I've probably already read it once before. And then let's see, Demi Devimon again. Fairly certain I don't have this yet. Start collecting maximum gold El Dorado packs. So, oh wow, nice. You got anything good from them? Let's see, on play, trash the top two cards of your deck. Yeah, again, believe I don't have this one. I have to double check the promo binder afterwards. Uh, got some Eldritch cards from Maximum Gold Finit. Oh, nice. 
Right, so we're finally halfway through this first pack, first box. Oh god, we're starting to get some duplicates of the rare, no, commons and uncommons, so we could probably just sift through the rest of the packet now. Uh, yeah, nothing new here. Is he a zoomy? I think I used this on one of my decks, so I might swap this one out. Uh, Palmon, I believe I already have a copy of this one. So, yeah. Oh, an Omnimon. This would be really nice for my Ogremon Greymon deck. Let's say, already got the original version of this, so I don't need to put this one in a binder. It's not, it's not exactly alternate art. It's just the the foiling is a bit different to the original. So yeah, definitely going to be using this one in a, in a deck. Have you any of the Megamon variants? Um, trying to think. Like in this set, like what? Alter Air, Salt of D, Swat Defeat, Merciful, etc. Um, I must have one of each of those because, like, you know, I, I'm trying to collect like full sets of of these cards, so I must have at least one of them from other sets. I think, I think in this set there is this Omnimon. A reprint of X Antibody and a reprint of Svart. Those might be the only ones, but I'll have to double check. Like I say, I can't tell you offhand if I <laughs> I want Miyokomon's line, even the corrupted versions of Ordenimon. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I believe I have those somewhere as well. Again, not entirely sure what set they came in, but I definitely do have those. Definitely got one in a binder hiding somewhere. <laughs> God. Oh. Christ. Sorry. <laughs> we have a Christian in the stream. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> uh, Gurimon. Yurmon. Jellymon. Fumamon. Don't believe I have you yet. I forget. Are the Spirit Digimon from Tia in this game too? I recall you getting a Burning Green. Yeah, I'm trying to think like what set that was. Yeah, but um, definitely the Frontier stuff is in this card game. I just don't remember what set it was in. Let's see. Fumamon, Digivolve 3 from a level 4 Gammon in its name when Digivolving trash the top 3 Digimon Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon with DP or less than or equal to this Digimon. DP. Then one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards can't attack until the end of their turn. Uh, all turns this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gammon in their names in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Inherited trait is all turns this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gammon in their names in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Whew. And breathe. Fumimon, number 15. Might try finding cards to build a Frontier deck. I'll be able to do that, including Susanomon. Susanomon, I believe, is a secret rare in one of the sets, so it's going to be pretty hard to get a hold of one of those, but um, good luck to you on that. Oh, oh, oh my god, really? Another another Lilithmon? Alright. Okay, if I ever, if I ever build a, a Demon Lord's purple deck, <laughs> I guess I could... Yeah, TCG player might help, yeah. Honestly, favourite Demon Lord. <laughs> Fair enough, fair dues. <laughs> the size be all yeah, true, true. There we are, there's Lilithmon from BT3. God, can my camera focus please? Thank you. Cool. Haven't gotten any of the memory boost cards yet, I've noticed. I mean, I already have like a full set of them in a collection and like one each for deck building, but it would be nice to get others. Honestly, Lusamon, I just straight up hate, and yet I went through the trouble of getting him in Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright. Let's see here. Tesla Jelly, Sunbury Angora, Thetis, TK Takaishi, uh, Diabitmon, already got this one, and another Rise Greymon. It was not. Oh yeah, I believe it. I'm pretty sure I remember there being some sort of like ridiculous requirement for that one. 
You have to have a Tokemon and boosted stats to match an ultimate level. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> One thing I'm curious about this card is, though, um, it has the effect of this Digimon is also treated as yellow. Since they reprinted this, they could have... They could have potentially, like, done the whole color split thing with this. I don't know if that would mess things up, but I don't know. If I were reprinting this card, I, I'd probably do that. So, so I don't have to put this bollocks in the... <laughs> In the effect text, yeah, yeah, because I don't think the uh, the color split thing was introduced in the set that originally came out in. Oh god, open says me. Well, if we reprint the Egyptian cod card, blah, 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 blah. what is wrong with me being able to speak today? Surely it can't just be this cold. Hmm. Uh, but if we reprinted the Egyptian god cards, we'd have them properly buffed. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Alright. Oh, what is that on there? Oh, it's just a bit of dust or something, I guess. Uh, Gammon, Bosamon, Ogimon? Yeah, again, this is what I was saying before about the... Uh, about it being a, a reprint that, that needed to be made. Because, like, again, the original had this... While the gold stamping was good, um, it did make some problems. Like you can just about see the creasing of the of the gold stamp on the back of the card. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it's definitely necessary for some of these cards, especially this Ogumon. Yeah, yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. Uh, Kiyoshiro and oh, here we go. Arcturusmon. We finally got an SR from the actual set itself, rather than a reprint. Oh, is this an alt art? This looks like an alt art, which probably means I'm not going to get Pro Proximamon. Did they put that together? In I I have no idea. Like, yeah, no idea how they how they went about this. <laughs> there we go. Um, Arcturusmon. Digivolve 4 from a level 5 of Gammon in its text. When Digivolving, you may place one Digimon card with Gammon in its text from your trash as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card. Then you may delete one Digimon with a level less than or equal to the number of this Digimon's Digivolution cards. On deletion, you may return one Digimon card from your trash to the hand. Then play one. Then by trashing one Serious Mon from your hand, you may play one Proxima Mon from your hand without paying the cost. Proximamon is the one card I'm really trying to hit from this set, so I don't have to keep looking for it on eBay or anywhere else. <laughs> Your turn once per turn when an opponent's Digimon is deleted. If this Digimon has Gammamon in its text, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. There we go, that's Arcturusmon number 31. I mean, at least it wasn't in such a way that it identifies the card itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Uh. Open up. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Uh, kind of voice mon, the mortmon, really Sukiono. I don't think we've got this one yet. Oh yeah, that was not good <laughs> Yeah. That was a reprint of an earlier set. Keramon and another Nitogmon. Really acute. I still need to watch. Uh, still need to watch Ghost Game. Oh God! There we go. Really, what does this do? Your turn when one of your Digimon digivolves into a green card with Beast, Animal, or Sovereign other than Sea Animal in one of its traits by suspending the same or reduce the digivolution cost by one. End of your turn. Once by turn, you may. Unsuspend one of your Digimon with Ungodomon in its text. Play this card without paying the cost on security. So that's Ruli Tsukiono, number 34. God. Uh, that's pretty damn serious in the subject matter. <laughs> Let's see. And another Nidhogmon. Again, it's nice to have some multiples of these for deck building. 
definitely um, definitely expands my options. Plays up the horror that some Digimon would logically have, and many are portrayed accurate to their meta lore, though some are changed still, like Sismon CL. Unsurprisingly, Lilithmon is a serial killer in you. Oh god! <laughs> wow. Damn. Alright. Here we are, just sift through the reprints. Tesla Jellymon, Glue Scammermon, Pyoyamon, Izzy Azumi, another Diaboramon, and another Onlymon. Sweet. Again, not sure if I'm going to run too many Omnimons in my Greymon deck, but still nice to have options. I'm going to sleeve these up just so they, just so the foil keeps nice. There we go. There's one good thing to say about this set is that it definitely helps get some of the uh, some of the more staple cards a lot easier. Again, still haven't run into any of the memory boosts yet, which is quite surprising. I've seen many people pull multiple versions of those. Let's see, Gurumon, Kalskamamon, Thetismon, uh, Blind Blinding Ray, Demi Devi. Oh, and speaking of, there is uh, there's our first memory boost of this box, red memory boost. I'm pretty sure these all play the same, but they're, they're like for each color. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all have this similar sort of effect. I'll say, be advised, it's not going to be as bright and cheerful as past it. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> oh. Is it going to be more intense than Tamers, I'm imagining? Some people do die on screen, numerous more confirmed off screen deaths. Oh, blimey. Yeah, that does sound a bit grim. <laughs> I shall brace myself for that then when the time comes. Oh, oh god. Come on. Yeah. Butchered that one. Alright. Uh, Battle Gammon. Gammon. Bossamon, Hakuto, Amonokawa, uh, Palmon, already got you, and a blue memory boost. So yeah, yeah, these are literally the same effect, but for but for the other colours, which is a good thing to have. It, it's just these are staple cards in most decks, so it's good to have multiple versions of those on hand. Oh, uh, let's uh, let's leave up Okuto as well. I've got a share of fun and cute and silly moments, but yeah, the horror is played 100% straight, and a lot of the villains are straight. Cerberus Syndrome, where when they all appear lighthearted, stuff go right out the door. Right, okay. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, Okuto Amadakawa, start your turn if you have if your opponent has three or more tamers, gain one memory. Uh, all turns when an opponent plays a Digimon by suspending this Tamer, gain one memory. If that Digimon is level 4 or higher, and draw one if it is level 3. Security players card without paying the cost. That is Okuto Monokawa, number 35. Still after that elusive number 36. Might have to see what I've got here so far, so I can see what I need to look out for. Uh, let's see, yep, Jellymon, Sunbere, Wesson Gammon, Sumemon? I don't know. Oh wait, no, this is a this is a reprint of a of a regular card. Uh Ruli and Yellow Memory Boost. So all the memory boosts appear to be at the bottom of the box. The question about the card game. Is it like in Yu-Gi-Oh where you have a max limit of what cards can be used? Yeah, the um the limit is usually four. There have been some cards that have been uh, that have had restrictions put on it, like there's a black version of Greymon X Antibody, which is down to one copy per deck. Yeah, it's very similar to, um, I guess, like Pokemon Duel Masters um, Vanguard. I think that's a four four copy limit. But yeah, there. Um, 
you can play pretty much an entire deck full of Ogumons, but they need to be... They need to be different numbers, like different serial numbers on them, in order for them to count. Like, you can't just have an entire deck full of... Um, full of BT1 Ogumons. <laughs> But funnily, there are some cards you can actually play multiple copies of. Like, I think Vemmon, the, the creature from uh, Digimon World 3, you can actually play a full deck of those. Just those cards. There are, yeah, like I say, there are some cards that have effects that say you can play more than the usual limit in a, in a deck. Let's see, Angoramon, Espimon, Numemon, Tanemon. Ooh, a Taikamiya V-Tamer. Already got one of those, but that's always nice to have. Has there been any mons exclusive to the games and such that are cards? I don't know. I I think all the stuff that comes out in the card games have always come out after the games have come out. Uh, and let's see, green memory boost. In fact, I think I have an example here of one of the more recent ones that was, that was brought out. I'll, uh, I'll get into that in a moment, just let me save up the uh, green memory boost first. Uh, Shin Monzemon um, was recently released as part of the, uh, part of the, what was it, the coloured V-Pet things? Uh, it was an, like an alternate Mega. But I think that's one of the more recent ones that was, um, that was announced that's been made into a card. Oh god, I just noticed there's a there's a Botamon trapped in there. You fiend! What are you doing? All the babies, no! What are you doing? Leave the children alone! Right. Three packs left. I'm pretty sure these last few packs should have the other memory boost cards in it. I think we've already hit four of them. So there might be there might be another surprise the end of this box, so, I don't know. Let's keep going. Mm, oh, another Toy Ogamon for the, uh, for the Machine Drum on deck. Oh, hang on. I did get something new here. Um, Gile... Gile Dumon. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Aerovisionmon Zero, and Black Memory Boost. Digimon I'm trying to think of. It's from World 3. Uh, uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think myself. It wasn't Galactamon, though that would be neat to see. There actually is a Galactamon card. Again, I don't have it on me right now. It's in one of my, one of my binders. I can't remember what set it was from. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was actually made into a card. There we go, there's a black memory boost. And... Whatever this guy is. Yeah, that... Destromon. I think Destromon was a card as well. If I remember correctly. Yeah, the, the Battleship Digimon. That we never actually got to fight in the game. <laughs> That's annoying. Digivolve free from level 4 with Gavamon in its name. When Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP. Digimon suspended by this effect don't unsuspend until the end of your opponent's turn. All turns, this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gavamon in their names in the Digimon's Digivolution cards. Inherited trait, all turns, this Digimon gains all effects of cards with Gavamon in their names in the Digimon's Digivolution cards. So that's uh, Galid Tumon. Galitomon, number 23. Saw it in the opening of World 3, but we never encounter it. Kind of like Sapphire Weapon in Final Fantasy 7. Just gets off in a cutscene. True, true. That That is really annoying. Alright, so I'll put you over there with the other greens. There's only one black card so far. I think the other one's supposed to be Hover Vespim Espimon. But I haven't found that one yet. Let's see. One more pack after this one. Uh, let's see. Betel, Gammon, Jellymon, Yoyamon, Rise Greymon. Oh, Amphimon, Promo, and Purple Memory Boost. Alright. 
So yeah, that should be all the memory boost cards. And there must be something else. It, it's so weird that they're all together in those packs. Uh, speaking of Final Fantasy, I've considered trying... Oh yeah, I did hear there was supposed to be a new card game coming out. Yeah. At first I thought it was triple tried when I saw it, but like, nope, nope, completely new game. Uh, when digivolving, trash up to three blue cards in your hand. For each one, you may trash any one card under your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Then, un uh, until the end of your opponent's turn, one of their Digimon or Tamers without cards under it can't suspend. Opponent's turn, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon attacks, tr by returning three cards with Jellymon in their text from your trash to the bottom of your deck, end the attack. So that's Amphimon promo 89. And then of course we got the... Hello, focus. And then we have the purple memory boost. So, I wonder what this last pack of the box has in store for us then, if we've hit all the memory boosts. Alright, so we'll go through this one slowly since it's the last pack of the box. There's Yaomon, Jack Raid, Devimon, Weedmon, Tapimon, Salamon, Angoramon, Goodimon, Tesla Jellymon, Nokia Shiromine. Oh, a Pulsemon. I don't think I've got this one yet, so that's good to see. I'll pop that there. And there's Omnimon Zvart. Reprint of the Super Rare from BT5. That's good stuff. Let's leave these two up. I wonder if I could use this in any of my decks. Pretty sure I already have this version from the original set. I could probably use this one in a deck. There we go, there's Omnimon Zvart from BT5. You get a good look at this, perhaps, please. Camera can focus. Good stuff. And this Pulsemon, I believe I do not already have. So that's coming in the promo binder. Let's have a look at you. On play, if you have three or more security cards, draw one. If you have three or fewer security cards, gain one memory. Ooh. Oh, so that's an interesting card to have in the deck. Alright, so that's the first box down. Oh, we've already got quite a pile of doubles here. Not surprising because this is a reprint set, but... Yeah. Alright. Come on. We need that Proximum on. In fact, before I go into opening any more packs, I'm just gonna, just gonna check to see what we've got here. Obviously we've got all the Digitamas. Uh, what have we got from the red side? I'm gonna try and order these. Let's see, so that's five, six, ten, nine, eight. So I'm missing one somewhere. I think those must be the Ogamon and Greymon that go in between those. But because they're rares, they're going to be harder to hit. Uh, let's see, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. And that one ends at 10, so yeah. Uh, and then these ones are 19, 17. So, there's maybe something else. I think that might be Monzemon, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, 23, 24, 22, 21, 20. That might be all the greens, I'm not entirely sure. That's the only black we've got here so far. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the, the old art for Arcturusmon. We'll have to see if we can pull the original in the next box. 31, 30, 29. And then these ones are quite easy to order because they're in order of colour. Yeah, still, still looking out for number 36. But for the most part, I think we've got most of the set now. It's just a few more we're missing. They're much harder to hit in this set because, like, because of the way it's structured. So 
so let's pop this open and we get an is that another Jellymon? I think we got this same promo in the last one, so this might be deck fodder. What about number 39 Utopia? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what can we get in this uh, in this next uh, first pack? I don't think that, I don't think this is ever going to top the Vidramon though. Whatever it happens to be, but we'll see. <laughs> you could resist, but <laughs> fair enough. Oh, well, that first pack magic. Will that happen again? Oh God. Uh, it's certainly not helping the, me open the pack. Maybe there's a magic seal on it. Maybe there is something here. Alright, so let's go through this one nice and slow to start things off. Kaiser Nail, Chumon, Agunimon, Devimon, my camera can focus please, Palmon, come on, Patamon, Jellymon, Latismon, Kalsgabamon, Oh, Ogumon. That's one we need. Good stuff. Gutterumon, got this one already, and all four Vidramon. So, no... Well, I mean, it is a Vidramon, sort of, but not quite the same. <laughs> no first pack magic here. But we still have three secrets to find in the, in the pack, in the box. Oh. Oh. oh my god, my back. <laughs> Alright, let's sleeve up this Ogamon. Again, another curious case. This was originally a promo card, but they decided to, to renumber it here. As you can see by this text here. Your turn, while this Digimon has Greymon in its name, it gets plus 2000 DP. Ooh, so if I get enough of these, I might actually use this in my Greymon deck. Alright, let's keep going. My back is killing me. Maybe because I'm leaning in. Ugh, perhaps if I shuffle it a bit closer, perhaps I can ease up on my back a little. Alright. Let's see what we get here. Poyomon, Poyomon rather. Okay, that's the Lobomon from a previous set. Vmon, Siriusmon, and another Magna Angemon. Nothing too crazy yet, but I'm sure we'll do something. <sighs> Alright. Here we go. So, we know what we're looking for, it's just a matter of getting them. On Joe, Vidram on zero, Cranium on. Let's leave you up at least. And away you go. <laughs> Give me my Proximamon. Already got the Vidramon, so that that's one of the that's one of the reprint super secret rares rather that I really wanted, so I'm happy about that. No, that's a uh, regular Espimon. Battle Gammon. Monzemon. There we go. That's one we haven't gotten yet. And another Lilith. So let's leave those two up. Here we go. There's the Lilithmon. Monzemon is a good boy, too. Agreed. It was the black gear that made them bad. Oh, I see. I see a Tokum on there. What's he screaming at? <laughs> Digivolve free from a, from a level four with Numemon in its name. On play by placing one Digimon card with Numemon in its name from your trash as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card. Gain two memory. On play or when Digivolving. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP and gains security attack minus one until the end of the turn. And then inherited, while this Digimon has Monzemon or Numemon in its name, it gains security attack plus one. 
Imagine if Monty Mon was only ever just a baby Digimon possessing a teddy bear. Yeah. Oh. Ready, I'm warning you. Get out of my house. I'm not playing your game. I don't want to know. I will get the broom. I've heard the name William Afton 5,000 times. I still have no idea who the fuck that is, and hopefully I never will. <laughs> All right. You know, I speaking out remind me to one of the baby Digimon, my boneheads, I forgot the name. It, it, it does kind of look like that, yeah. I think it's supposed to be a Numimon, because um, this is what Numimon turns into in Digimon World. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be a Numimon or if it's just a... I don't know. It's a bit omin ominous, whatever way you look at it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see. Oh god. Focus, please. Thank you. Uh, the Scammermon. Is your zoom me? Focus. All Force Zero and Rise Gorimon. Kind of like Mimikyu. Oh golly, I didn't need that mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Monzimon is the Digimon equivalent of Mimikyu. <laughs> if you look at the, the creature in its back. Ooh. You are. You are screwed, to put it mildly. It might just be the foil glare off of this that's messing with the focus. Because this whole set is foils. It's like, ugh. Come on, Vicemon, come on, come on. There we go. Espimon, Tanemon, Keramon, and a Nidhoggmon. Yep, yep, there is a Millenniummon. Again. <laughs> no idea what set it is, but it's definitely, yeah. <laughs> definitely there somewhere. Oh god. Alright. Now we need Moon Millenniummon and Z to Millenniummon. I don't think either of those have been made into cards yet. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I haven't seen those yet. Alright, here we go. Mortmon, Scammermon. Oh, here we go. Here's one we haven't gotten yet. Black Gutamon U version. I believe this is one from Ghost Story. I, I, Ghost, yeah, Ghost Game. Well, most of the cards in in the RB set are ghost game stuff, so yeah. Diaboramon and Amphimon. I believe this is an old art. Or no, no, it could just be the regular. Hang on. I don't think I have this. No, I don't have this card yet. But I don't know. I don't know what the old arts are. There we are. That's an Amphimon. Let's get those two sleeved up. So here we go. Amphimon. When digivolving and when attacking, you may trash up to two blue cards in your hand. For each one, trash any one card under your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Then you may return one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to the bottom of the... Do I not have this yet? I'm pretty sure I've read this effect already. Let me check. No! No, I don't have this one yet. Okay. Seems very similar to, to an effect I've just read out. When one of your blue Digimon would be deleted by returning three cards with Jellymon in their text from your trash to the bottom of the deck in any order, prevent its deletion. Hmm. Did I put it in a in another pile by accident, perhaps? That might have been what I did. I'll have to check when I when I wrap everything up later. Here we go, here's a Black Gutum on you version. So what does this do? Security at the end of the battle, play this card for paying the cost. Oh, so it's a security card, nice. On play, by returning one Digimon card from your opponent's trash to the bottom of the deck, draw one. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That's Black Gotham on U version, number 28. Uber Eats got him. <laughs> Hello, this is Uber Eats. Right. 
I do love the artwork for, for a delicate plan. I know I've skipped through to, through these uh, reprints, but <laughs> I love that. Just uh, two War Grimals casually playing cards with each other. I think uh, Black War Grimals looking a bit salty there. Uh, Bossamon, Taikamiya. That's a reprint. Devi Devimon, and oh god, another another alt art version of Shin Mondemon. It's not looking good for Proximamon. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's a nice card still, but uh, I want my Proxima on. I don't want to have to hunt for it. Re. Come on. Ugh. If I can get the rest of the cards in the set, at the very least. Gurimon. Goromon, Thetismon, Angie Warmon, Halmon. Oh, okay, so this is the regular version. I looked on TCG. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's not too bad then. I I might be able to just nab that one off of um off of somewhere then. Again, not too sure about TCG player, because I kinda wanna avoid paying any extra like postage costs. Here we go, here's the regular version of Arcturusmon. I believe I pulled the alt art in the, uh, in the previous box, so I can put this one in the alt arts binder now. I can link you the Discord. Oh, okay, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I'll have a look at that later on. Oh, yo, 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 yo. It's really warm today. My phone might be getting hot as well. I know it doesn't like doing this whole webcam effect. <gasps> there we go. There's the grey mon. Oh. Really happy I pulled this one. Okay, really. And another Omnimon. So that's three Omnimons we've got now. As opposed to just the one that was uh, relegated to my collection binder. I now have three copies of it. A reprint, but three copies nonetheless. And we finally got the Greymon from this set. Still after the Hover. Hover Espimon. Your turn while Ogamon is in the Digimon's Digivolution cards, it gains security attack plus one. And Card number also treated as P10. A deck may not have more than four copies of this and P10. Oh yeah, the, the artwork on this is amazing. Who's the artist behind this? Let me see. Uh, spare Ribs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've encountered that name on these cards before, but what a name. <laughs> spare Ribs. Love it. Yeah, that is number seven. Good stuff. I'm really hoping that Amphibamon isn't the alt art. I'm pretty sure it would have something a bit more... a bit more to it if it was an alt. So I think... I think I've only pulled one alt so far, so there's two more chances of a Proxima. Uh, Numemon... Blinding Ray, Taikamiya, Red Memory Boost. I never have too many of those. I wonder if I'm using any in my Greymon deck at the moment. I'll have to look at that. Oh, last pack of the second... first half of the box. <laughs> Rather. Ugh. That's good. Good snap. All right. Tesla, Patamon, Aero, Vidramon Zero, and a blue memory boost. Okay, so, so the memory boosts are all like converging together, it seems. Again, really nice to have more of those for deck building. Would be nice if I could actually play the game with people. 
But alas, I live in the middle of nowhere. Where public transport options are very limited. Uh. Uh. Hero, Keramon, Nitogmon. And there's no simulator. Yeah. No, like, official one anyway. I've, I've heard people are making things like web browser things like what. Oh, what was it called again? Doll Rooms or something? Like, there was a Yu Gi Oh thing. Unofficial, but you could play Yu Gi Oh on it. You had to know. Some of the stuff, though, in order for it to work properly, because it's not all automated. Yeah, I've heard someone's working on a Digimon version of that. Alright. Mm -hmm. Emmon, Tesla Jelly. Rise Greymon, Diaboromon, and I now have a playset of Omnimons. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm not sure if I necessarily need a full playset of Omnimons, but it's there. Cool. Yeah, if you haven't. If you're ever running a deck that needs an Omnimon, I would highly recommend. Oh god. My bin's fallen over. I would highly recommend picking up a box of this. You can easily get a playset of some of the harder to obtain cards. Right, did I get anything here? No, no, this is all dupes. Uh, Demi Devimon, another red energy boost. Okay then. Come on, give me something good. Oh, something I haven't seen yet. Surprised it doesn't seem to be a straightforward evolution mechanic in the game. Other Pokemon or something. Yeah, the, um... Like, it is, it is straight up just um, evolve a level 2 into a level 3 and then evolve level 3 into a level 4. There are some cards where it will give you an evolution cost discount, like, you know, there are some Greymon cards where if you evolve onto an Ogremon, you could evolve it for, for less than the cost that it normally would be. I'll have to see if there are any examples of that. Sifting through this. And let's see. Yeah, so like the, the Gammon line here, so Battle Gammon. You normally have to pay two to evolve this from a red level three. But here you can play it on top of any Gammon. No DNA Digivolution either, because. I mean, there are some DNA Digivolution cards. I don't quite understand the mechanic behind that, because I don't play a deck that has that. Otherwise, need a mirror model machine. Yeah. Yeah, um, the DNA effects weren't introduced until a bit later on. And even then, it's only a, it's only a small few cards who get it. I think I've gone through enough of these now. So I can, <laughs> I can afford to uh, just have a casual chat while I'm doing it. I don't need to announce every single card I get. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Chimeramon, yeah, that's an that's an interesting situation. I know there's a Chimeramon in the game, it's just yeah, doesn't really use that kind of mechanic. Uh, Vimon, really yellow memory boost. I'm getting worried now because I <laughs> I'm not seeing some cards that I'm de definitely missing. I know I'm missing them, but I'm not pulling them. So I'll have to have a look for them online. I know Chaos Cards is completely sold out of Proxima Mons. Don't know if it's just both versions or the alt art or what. But yeah, I'll have to look elsewhere for that one. And I'm not quite sure if they have any of the others. That was some that'll be something to look into. Taikamiya, Green Memory Boost. 
I do like the artwork on the memory boost cards. It makes me think of the uh, the training drills in uh, in Digimon World. All right. Whoa. Gulasmon, already got you. Aerovenamon, zero. Wait. Oh, wait, yeah, that, that was a rare. Okay, Black Memory Boost. Again, pretty sure I'm running these in one of my decks, but I'll have to, I'll have to double check. Will be good for my Machine Drum again. Blah, 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 blah. Will be good for my Machine Drum on deck anyway. Maybe. I'll have to, I'll have to double check to see what, <laughs> what people are saying about that. Amphimon, promo version, and purple memory boost. Still haven't seen that Hover Espen one yet, which is worrying me. How many packs we got left? We are four packs away from the end of this box. Oh god. <laughs> the we would have the Monochromon music on when I pull this poxy thing. I hate weed model with a passion. Worst customer ever. Alright. TK, Pulsemon, Diabitmon. Oh, this this is an alt art. I know for a fact this is an alt art. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, there's a Loba Mon in the set as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that can go in the Alt Hearts Binder. Let me have another look at this uh, Amphibium Mon quickly. Yeah, no, that doesn't look like an Alt Art to me. It would, it would be, the artwork would go all around the border. Like, there would be no border to it basically if it was an Alt Art. So, yeah. So I've hit two. Two secret slash alt arts. There is still hope. Come on, give it to me. Espimon, where where is your evolution? Show me, tell me. A hero, and an Omnimon's Vart. Okay, so I've got two of those now. Nice, nice. I wonder what, the, what sort of deck this would go well with. Let's see, let's have a look at the effects real quick. And did you evolve the top three cards of your deck? Then you may play up to two play costs. Hmm. So any sort of black or purple deck would probably benefit from having this. Maybe. I'll have to look into it some more. Oh, here we go. Get, what do we get? Come on. Give me something good. Diabitmon. Oh! <laughs> uh, I love this card, but at the same time, it's really not something I wanted to pull. The conflict of feelings. Ah! Uh, oh, I love this card, but at the same time, uh, the emotional damage. Ah, oh, that is a good card though. I kind of want to get this one slabbed as well. I think I might have another slab somewhere I can put it in. Oh, not the secret I was after. But I love this card so damn much. That's Metal Gra In fact, we managed to pull both BT1 secrets in these boxes. So... As, much, as mad as I want to get about it, I really can't be. That is amazing. <sighs> that just means now there is no hope of a Proxima on, and I'm going to have to look for that one elsewhere. Alright. 
Let's see what we end the box with. Heart of the Cards guide me, even though I don't think the Heart of the Cards is going to matter too much here. If you can give me the Hover F Spam on, that would be great. Let's see. Tape him on. Holy Flame. Kokita's Breath. Demi Miramon. Salamon. Hidden Potential Discovered. Gurimon. Numemon. Cannon Vicemon. Megadramon. I don't think we've seen that one yet. That's a reprint anyway. Wegarurumon. And another Shine Greymon. So, that was an interesting one to end the box with. We're not done yet, though. I did manage to pick up a few more packs while I was in town yesterday, so... I got these as kind of like a, a Charlie Bucket kind of situation. Where if we don't pull the golden ticket in any of those boxes, I can try for it in these. Again, because these are just free random booster packs. Not sure what's going to be in them, but we can only pray. <sighs> Where's my Millennium Puzzle in this situation? Here we go. Heart of the Cards, guide me! Kaiba! <laughs> Don't know why the Kaiba. Too much Simply Unlucky, I think. Alright, so here we go. First random pack. We have a Gabumon, Upamon, Demimaramon, Chumon, Patamon, Palmon, Gurimon, Thetismon, uh, Betel Gamamon, Upamon, Old Force Vedramon Zero, and a Magna Angemon. I'm going to sleeve those ones afterwards. <laughs> Random pack number two. Right. We have Salomon, Greymon, Jack Raid, Koromon, Focus, please, Terriamon, Kokita's Breath, Gammon, Simba Angoromon, Jellymon, Ruli Sukiono. Serious Mon. Another Lilith Mon. Something's telling me I should play purple. <laughs> I went against what I said earlier about sleeving them afterwards, but hey ho. <sighs> it all comes down to this last pack. Heart of the cards, please. Proxima Mon. Manifest. Here we go. So we have Shademon, Labramon, Tapirmon, Demi Vimon, Weedmon, Devimon, Hyoyamon, Espimon. The Mortmon, Lady Devimon, Wegarurumon, and last one, a Craniumon. So I need to find a Hover, Hover Espimon and a Proximumon. But for the most part, I think I've got most of the set sorted. Again, mixed feelings on getting these, but <laughs> the Vidramon is really nice, I must say. Not sure I need another Metal Greymon, but. It's a good card. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, if nothing else, I have these. And that's great. Right, so I'm going to try and clean this up as quickly as I can, and then I'll come back and do some ranked Pokemon stuff. Hopefully I can get that done in the next couple hours. So yeah, bear with me. I will be back soonish.